I'll try to give I'll try to give you a distinction between spirit and soul because that could be a possible confusion in this whole exercise. I want to segregate it just for the knowledge sake. It is not for a writing examination, but for awareness sake. When I call spirit, spirit is something which moves, activates, and provides experience. I repeat, spirit is something which moves, activates, and also helps you to experience. The soul remains as the source. This is the difference I am telling here. Soul is source. Soul is not interested like petrol of the car. It's not interested in anything. If you put petrol in the car, car moves. So you know that there is petrol. Electricity. Electricity has no interest in, in the uh, light bulb or washing machine or television. But if, you, if there is no electricity, none of these things work. Simple. It's like that. So spirit has a deeper thing. Spirit has an experience part connected to it. Soul has zero experience part connected. Everything comes from it and everything goes back to it. Just like silence. Silence has no interest in sounds. But where are, where are sounds coming from? Silence. Where does sounds go to? When sounds die. Silence. So silence is always like the ocean. Sounds are like waves. Right? Soul is like the ocean. Spirit is like a wave. You understood the difference between these two? That's why I, I distinctly kept them separate. Yeah. Uh, so basically this is the operating manual. <laughs> we have a body, we have mind, intellect, but we don't know how to use them or we probably have been not been trained. So this is why I always say our education system should be to make people aware of themselves, not to teach things for, from the outside world. More we should, we should train children to be aware of themselves. What are they consisting of? This is very important. Good. So we are, we are, <laughs> we know what we're talking about. Okay. So spirit has three functional states. What is spirit? The operational part of the soul. In Hindu terms, we call it Shakti. And what is Shiva? Shiva is the substratum. Shiva is the ocean. Shakti is the wave. So here spirit has three states in 24 hours. <coughs> three states. Which are the three states? We experience it. Every day. All people. Waking state. Dream state. Deep sleep state. So which state are you in now? Maybe. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you are in waking state? Yeah, snoring state is also dream state sometimes. You see? So if you are in waking state, it's a very important state. Because this is the state where you are having this ownership. This create you exists here. Because you have an external world to communicate with in the waking state. Okay. So, waking state, we have an external world. That's the main thing. During our waking hours, we deal with a world outside us. And how do you work with this world? Using our organs of perception, organs of action. Five organs of perception, right? Eyes, ears, nose, skin, tongue. Then organs of action, hands, legs, etc. So, this is how we interact with this outside world. And, and what do you get from here? Experiences. How do you get experience? See, eyes cannot have experience unless mind is with the eyes. Eyes cannot see for itself. Mind has to be present with the eyes. Then only you see. Otherwise, you look. Imagine you are looking at this ocean. Mind is at your home. Do you see what's happening in front of you? You're looking, but you're not seeing. Like that, if your ears are here, if you are listening to my voice, but your mind is not here, do you understand what I'm saying? So, I, so the mind has a big role here. <coughs> For experience, mind has to be present. Imagine you're watching a feature film and you're eating food. Do you really understand the taste of the food unless the food is very bad? 
and <laughs> not edible that you realize because your attention comes there. Otherwise, you will eat and you will watch. So, where is your mind? That's where your experience is. So, mind is connected to, mind is a processor. So, the data collected from this world continuously is processed through mind, intellect, ego. This is how we are happening, we are doing. So, waking state, this exercise is very, very important to know. And that also, uh, we are maximum active connected to the sun. Sunrise to sunset. That's the time when all our faculties are functioning to its optimal level. After sunset, it starts going down. You know, that means the body starts to shut down, prepares itself for other states. So waking state has not only our body, animals, birds, all these beings, they are more, more connected to the outside world during sunrise, from sunrise to sunset. This is the usual way. And after sunset, that's why I said don't eat any food after sunset. Why? Because body is already in a mode of shutting down. And that time when you give more food to the body, body has to work harder over time. And it, it gives you obesity, imbalance. So, usually our body is tuned to sun. You know, this is approximate picture. Approximate. This is not accurate. Approximate. But waking state is a time when we <coughs> experience positions, possessions and relations. Connected to the outside world. And you take the inputs and give them value and put them in places. Some has very high value, some has very low value. And high and low value in our scriptures, it's clearly defined. Mata, Pita, Guru and God. Mata is what? Mother. Why mother first? Because your relationship with your mother is nine months more than the society. So first and foremost, your interaction with your mother. Whether you like your mother or not, you have to take care of the mother because that's, that relationship has value. Then comes father. Father is the protector, provider, etc. Then guru, who helps you to know yourself. Then comes God. God is the most silent aspect of our life. Non-interfering. God never comes and talks to you. Never tells you anything. Never tells you uh, that this is okay, this is not okay. Just like your soul. Your soul is inside. But it never tells you what is right, what is wrong. Mind is involved in all this. You know, all your likes and dislikes are executed by mind. Soul is not involved. God is not involved. God is not involved in any of the activities of the world. What, what is happening in the world is funded or supported by God. Means energy. God is the energy which supports the whole activity of the world. And it sits in an atom because it moves and also to the, in the whole universe. So God is everywhere, you know, and omnipresent but non-interfering, just like your soul. So if you want to know how God operates, you just watch how your soul operates. It's almost similar. Non-interfering but at the same time providing. It provides you without interference. Correct? So, this is very important. Waking state is a state when, I'll come to you. Waking state is a state when you have the whole world to interact with. But how much of the world do you get to interact? How much of this world? There's a time, there's a space, and there's a presence of mind. Only that you, you get to interact. In this time, in this space, if your mind is here, that's your experience. In this time, in this space, if your mind is not here, you don't have this experience. This is life. This is how we live. Each point in time, are you here? If you're not here, you don't experience. If you're here, yes. Here means not the body. Body is here, of course, I can see. But is, are you, is your mind here? And also, if your mind is thinking, you don't hear. You know, assimilation happens. We talk, at the same time mind assimilates. That means you are not receptive. 
So receptive time is the time when you really have experience. If you don't have receptive time, you don't have experience. Uh, is this uh, too much to understand? Because please understand spirit and soul are not easy. Because it's not as tangible as body, mind, intellect, ego. You know, the soul is the most subtle and most neutral part of your body. Or your system, not body, your system. And soul is the actual tenant of your body. You know, the tenant. Yeah, and it stays uh, only as much as it wants to stay. Yeah, and then it leaves, but then we call it a dead body. So body is used by the soul for the sake of experiences.